story we're following tonight, casino gaming from the palm of your hand. Maryland making a push for exactly that, giving you the chance to play poker, blackjack, and other table games, and potentially bring in millions to the state. WJZ is live at 11 o'clock tonight. Kelsey Kushner spoke with the senator behind that bill. Who would make this happen. And Kelsey, a lot of Marylanders have a lot to say about this proposal. Yeah, you guys, well, this is a really hot topic, and there are people on both sides of the coin chiming in about this. You know, of course, on one side, they say it's great because it's going to bring in money for the state, but other people are really worried that this could actually fuel a gambling addiction. The push to legalize online casino games in Maryland continues. Hit, play, and keep going until you're gone. Senate Bill 603, a bill aimed at legalizing online poker and casino games, would allow the state's six land based casinos to partner with online gambling operators, bringing slots, poker, and other table games to the comfort of your couch. It's backed by Senator Ron Watson. It is 24 hours a day where anybody that wants to play, they can play. Watson has been working on this bill for three years and is hoping this year it's successful. If approved, Watson says it will allow casinos to reach new customers, get rid of table limits, and bring in over $300 million to the state. He also says technology will allow them to track and help those with a gambling addiction. We can block somebody's account, give them a cool off period. We can even have an external operator contact the person and ask them, you know, do they need any help or assistance. But the bill is getting some pushback among constituents. Some Marylanders say gambling at your fingertips may not be a good idea. They'll be home just gambling their whole paycheck away. I think it's exciting at one point, but I think it's very dangerous. But others, like Tico Bryan, say he's hoping the bill gets approved. Yeah, it'll be easier. You feel me? You could probably do it from home. Now, this proposal does come with a 47% excuse me, tax rate, which Senator Watson says that casinos can afford to pay. Now, this is set to go before the state Senate next week. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ. Kelsey, thank you. We'll